So, on the previous video, I showed you how I scudded this red brick ready for rendering and also showed you how I rendered it and got it ready then for the skim coat which I'm going to show you how to basically get it nice and even, flat and ready for paint or wallpaper to the existing. This is the quality that I'm going to show you how to patch to. I'm going to go through all the details and hopefully you can get it as flush and tidy as this so that it's an invisible joint when painted or papered and basically like new again from them old red bricks. Pretty important to wet this down guys, it's been floated a couple of days and so you can see the way the sand cement set. Skim's going to set very, very much as well. So I always went down the edges as well here. Like I overlap it on the older plaster. But this all needs a good soaking. I'm trying not to soak this corner too much as this corner was only done yesterday so it's still fresh and we we'll, we'll want it to pick up otherwise it'd just be splashing the water on but I'm trying not to splash that you'll notice that I am wetting the whole area down especially this burr plaster to the side here and you want to control the suction this is what I call controlling the suction guys if we just skimmed over this, it would be very hot. The plaster would soak in very quickly, it would dry, it would possibly crack like, like mud in the desert. But basically, controlling the suction so we're controlling the setting time, it's not getting away from us. Now that that's wet down, I'm going to probably start mixing. I'll be starting on the far corner work my way around, but this is just getting patched in, so I'll be trying to keep this joint as clean as possible. Right, so I'm about to coat this, but what I like to do again is just a quick wet on that joint. Just to stop the stuff. It'll probably dry in anyway, but it'll help. And just, just coat away guys. So on my first coat I'm gonna try and build out sort of two two or three mil there. I try and get that joint in straight away. Make life easier. With the second coating. Again, that's why I like this corner so that joint so I can keep it clean easy. Curtains on this here cut up the bit there, but I'll still turn it down as low as possible. Again, you're really concentrating on that edge. Not 
the the guys are through this too much access, give it a little a quick wash off. And you can also scrape scrape the access off before your second coat. Sweet. Oh, it's just second coat in it here. Start the top again, work the way down. as possible. Pick out any stones that make it in. But as neat as possible. Keep them edges as clean as possible as well now. The neater you put it on, the easier it will be held up. And sometimes that red brick has a tendency just to shoot off set really fast. So what you want is to be on top of it. And the only way to be on top of this is just to try it all up as neat as possible. Put it on as neat as possible from the start. Thankfully, wet it down, held it all back, so it's not quite as dry. Patching and stuff, so you'll just be doing this wall and that wall separate. Well, that's what I would recommend, but what I have to do is just, just shape it up the corner. Obviously, if it dips in and out, you fill it with your trowel or a bit of a speed skip. But thankfully, I straighten these walls, so this joint, this corner is pretty good. So Again, the main part of the patch is actually where it joins the old wall. So get that all flush, flush guys, so that you know when it's painted, it's not too bad. It looks nice, it looks original. So as you see, a lot of the work is done in the coating, which is all pretty neat and tidy. But if there is anything to fill, any holes or any scratches, get that all done now. And all these other water clean that edge. Get that as clean and flush as possible. Show, show that in a good lot of videos like so this one for some of the longer subscribers and viewers is just a refresher really. And there's any stones pick them out high because as the stuff picks up and you gotta trowel up the way, you don't want a stone dragging up that'll cause a big scratch in the wall. That's not what we want. So you know you have nice and clean, nice clean new buckets and all it's good for mixing, you know. Quickly, we, we inside to there again. All my buckets are new and clean. If you have a patch there, just get it off. Patches are probably one of the harder things to actually do in plastering, but you know, if you follow these steps and things I've done in these processes, that'll make for a better job. Is. This is really just the first flat in, but it is. It's actually travel up nice. You will have to go over this another, maybe another three times. 
A lot of people like to feather out on the pads, but I think that creates a bump. I think you're better go on to the existing, the original. Keep it all flush. Well, I'll come in close and show you this hard. The hard sort of looking at this first job stage as well. Here's a wee quick look up close after the, the first flattening slash first trial as it was tightening a slight bit. Uh, again guys there's no timings on this as because it's red brick high suction it would be hard to give exact timings on on this type of plastering. Right so on the sort of the second trial here and we toss a brush in it for up along the corners. Just to keep the corners as clean as possible, obviously you have to be careful around the corners too because they're a wee bit fragile. They're pretty old. Again, just concentrate on all the joints. Basically the important parts of this is the angles and the, the joint really. So that's where any any bad bits will show up. Skin and trowel, don't have to have a super flex, but it's a 
lot of pressure in the joints and my joints are short sure enough. So I'll take all the help I can get. Ian just always wet all the all the corners, all the joints. Making sure you pay attention to your your anger guys as well. Again, I could dry child this later and put a shine on it, but it doesn't really need it. I get, I'm not sure this one's getting papered or not, but really just make sure that's clean. And the second thing as well, guys, I have seen these crumble because they're a patch. You're putting all that pressure on. Eventually, it, you're putting pressure on a wall that's probably 80, 100 year old, so don't tend to feel too much. Don't be trying to over shine and polish it. There's, just get it flat and flush. And, almost let it go at that, you know, not a tank fit. That being said, for a 100 year old wall, it's pretty solid. It's good. Again, always bring it down, so you're bringing the dirty water down to the floor. Obviously make sure you just fill out anything that if you are going to leave it, you make sure you've got everything filled out. Well, I forgot to mention, always clean your re-angles with a, an angle child as you go. I'll probably go around all these angles again quickly. But, and like I said, if you're watching this, you're probably a beginner or DIY, so you won't be doing a wet angle. Which is pretty tricky, even for some plasters. So this is us guys, all sorted, I'm not going to polish it, again it's just a patch, so I don't want to put too much pressure on that joint like I said, and you know, you can go down and just clean all this again, I'm going to go around the angles and stuff just quickly, but that's it all done guys, three good trowels on it, and two coats of plaster, and the previous video showed how I went about rendering that brick wall nice and solid again. And hope these these tips helped everybody or anybody attempting to tackle such a job.